It's about time. Uh, this? Maybe. Camera's still fucked. I didn't really mess with it. I look like a ghost man. No. No, it is. Also lights up the background. Look at that. All right. Yeah. Won't lie. Haven't really thought about this run whatsoever. So we'll make it work as we go. And if it takes a few tries, it takes a few tries. No, it was not the airport, VV, but thank you for the tier one for 29 months. Greatly appreciated. As well as Pyro Blaze, thank you for the Prime. As well as Carly Marley for the tier one for seven months is greatly appreciated. Forget the backup. Back up the start. Honestly, it doesn't take that long to remake it, and I'd rather not use the same seat every time. Kaylin Thee. Thank you for the uh, tier one for nine months as well. I'm not too worried about it. Bruh, I literally, I, I, bro, there's no shot that it did that to me. This is why I generally have the steam cloud shit, like, The saves turned off. I literally made a backup so it wasn't as cluttered. And that as soon as I like close it and open it, it like immediately does that. Oh boy. Uh Jeff Beer Beer Day. Thank you for the uh one month of uh or I'm sorry, the nine months of tier one. Uh, Amars, thank you for the Prime for four months. Time now, thank you for the Tier 1 for three months. Vivi, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you for the scam train, by the way. Boo, I was sick the day you took a break until today. Cack happens. Vivi is a giga chad. Can confirm. Alright. Also, do you guys hear Bonjour? Because I don't hear it. Triannosaurus girlfriend, thank you for the tier one. I don't know why I always say Triannosaurus. Never know. I guess that is right. Triannosaurus girlfriend. Yeah, whatever. Uh, also, uh, the Tabo, thank you for the gifted sub as well. Single year perfection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, quick explanation. Because I probably won't actually do a normal YouTube intro and just do the uh, thing in post. But for those who are like wondering real quick as this is going on, how this is possible. As you can see, we're in year two. I basically set up the file using uh, CJB Cheats. I got all the cooking recipes in year one. And then changed it to winter 28th year two and slept the day to save it. That is all I did. So I have all the year one cooking recipes, but and but that is it. Everything else is whatever. I also didn't want to sleep uh, a year because then my farm would just be unbearable. So I just decided I'm just going to skip the day and then uh, have my farm somewhat clear. And it's like, technically, I could just do this the opposite way where I get all the year two recipes and I have Kent move in. But I think doing it in year two is a little bit cooler because then I can't just buy wood and stone as aggressively as I would have. So it's kind of just one of those things.
That's kind of just it. Is there a backup plan if, to the YouTube if somebody redeems reset the 99? If somebody resets the run at 99, I just reset the run and do it again and then use that footage. <laughs> I just do it again. Really that easy. As soon as I figure out how to do it once, I can do it again. Replicating, it's not hard. More of a pain. Wouldn't you want the farm to be overgrown? Well, I don't really have a way of chopping down all the trees now, do I? <laughs> I don't have unlimited energy. I start with nothing. I don't even know how I necessarily want to start this run in the first place. Is the thing. I haven't really thought about it too, too much. I kind of just like, I feel like I'll have more than enough time to do everything that I want. It's more about just not forgetting things. The only thing I have to be somewhat worried about is uh, getting the ginger island. That's the only thing that I'm actually, like, worried, worried about. Frozen jokes, thank you for the, uh, prime. Greatly appreciated. The Legend Spring. Have you guys ever heard of Magic Bait? I literally don't care. I probably, like, I might fish in spring. I might not. Also, uh, <laughs> sassy streamer. Yeah, let me be even more sassy. There's literally a video made by, uh, actually, did Blade make it into a video yet? Blade literally did the challenge to catch the legend on day three of spring. And he did it. You can uh, catch the legend on day three of spring. Called just get good. To be fair. To be fair, he had it perfectly seated. So he got like 20 hour bubbles. So it's not practical. But it's not that bad. Especially when you have 28 days. <laughs> but yes, you can do that. That's a thing. Who will I marry? Good question. Who's left? <laughs> I don't think it... Well, I guess it will matter, actually, because I can't uh, just give everybody rabbit's feet. That's the other thing I actually have to be careful about is uh, friendships. Average free video. Make us vote. <laughs> We're gonna fuck you. Well, there's only like three NPCs left, which is what? Abigail. Uh, we did Alex. Abigail, Elliot, and Maru. And Emily, four. Abigail, Emily, Maru, and... Yeah. And Elliot. We have four left. Elliot was done? I thought Alex was done. I don't think Elliot was done yet. Just check the poll. Oh, everybody was on. Oh, I, I, okay. I guess Elliot wasn't on here. You are right. Yeah, we only have three left. So it's Abigail, Maru, Emily. I've, I'm still not, I'm still not letting you vote on those. Yeah. 
<laughs> Let us vote. If I feel like it. Whatever. Faden J, thank you for the prime for 19. Hello. Oh, I missed the sub as well. Ma Mot M Motep, thank you for the resub for three months. And thank you for the hype train. It is greatly appreciated. Or I'm sorry, scam train. All right, I've distracted long enough. I don't think I'm streaming that long today anyways, so. Uh, yeah. Probably get started. I, well, I say we get started, but I have no idea what I'm doing. It's like, I, I feel like I should go in with a plan and know what I'm doing the first few days. But at the same time, at the same time, I'm thinking, do I really care? Does it really matter that much? How long is it actually going to take me to get to Ginger Island when I'm, like, really not trying? Well, blooper, or booper, thank you for the prime. Somebody had this routed? I have no idea. I'm winging it. I didn't fucking route this. If somebody routed it, I have no idea. Okay, for those who are just joining, I'll explain this again. This file is already pre-set up. You can see I have four minutes, and we're in year two. Basically, what I did with mods is I went through year one, got every single year one recipe, and then uh, ch changed the date and time to the 28th of winter year one, and then slept the day to save it. So I have every single year one cooking recipe, and Kent has moved into town. That is it. That is the only thing I've done with this file. And that is all you need to do with the file. Theoretically, you don't even need the cooking recipes. But I'm not going to bet on the Wednesday's uh, recipe to actually give it to me. No, thank you. Theoretically, all you have to do is start in year two. And you're fine. That is why it's called single year. I'm technically not in year one. I'm in year two. But I'm only using a single year of gameplay. Everything else has been unchanged. Mike peeking. Yeah, I've noticed that. Maybe if I turn this down. I think I turned it up on accident. So it was like loud. Probably better. Use mods, runs invalid. Oh, well. how long is this going to be? Uh, Probably a few hours. <laughs> then mm, probably, yeah, probably 10, 20 hours. I have no idea. I'm doing JoJo. Uh, the issue with Community Center is that I basically only get four weeks to do... Uh, or if I'm lucky, I get six weeks to do Ginger Island. Which is uh, not really enough. Because without it being completely seated to get the Community Center items, I won't be able to complete the Community Center until at least fall. Which is just not going to happen. I really don't think, like, see, the reason why it's taking me so long, Demonic Mermaid routed it if we want to know. I rather not know because then it's actually more entertaining to figure it out than to actually just do it. It's more entertaining to figure it out. We're winging it. Eh, it's, it'll be fine. Join us thrive, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm more like sitting here thinking, do I want a clay farm day one? And honestly, I think the answer is no. I'm just going to fish. I understand that I can make more money clay farming, but... I kind of just want to fish, I think. The issue with clay farming is, is I'm not using the predictor, so I don't know where the clay is. I also don't know how many spring onions I have or what forge I have. So it's like, I think I just fish. Because it's like, I could go to the mines day one, but what am I doing in the mines day one with no energy? I don't really want to do 
day resets for the most part. Unless if something catastrophically goes wrong, I don't really want a day reset. I do know the pattern for clay, but it's not guaranteed that I'm going to get the clay in the first, like, half of energy. Look on screen and look what year it is on the file, and then you'll figure it out. Is there a timer? I'm not going to have a timer because my, uh, I lost my timer assets and I didn't feel like remaking them yet. So, unfortunately, my timer fetish is not going to be satisfied this run. I think I'm just gonna fish. It's fine. I literally moved my hand over to start the timer, by the way. Like, I physically moved my hand over like I'm gonna start the timer, but I'm not. <laughs> Whatever. The mines is open, no need to fish or clay farming. Yeah, but Cord, am I really going to the mines on day one with 270 energy? I have nothing else, 270 energy. Absolutely, yes. Oh, yeah, and then get absolutely screwed by RNG and go 15 floors. And that's my entire day. Dude, farm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, with my, uh... With my 135 swings. You can buy two salads. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Fine. Wait, I'll do it if it's good luck, Cord. All right. I'll do it if it's good luck. What's daily luck? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to restart. I didn't start the recording. The, the recording needs to be started. I'm sorry. Now, nah, now we can start. Look at that. Quicker load in. Do I really want to go? Do I really want to go to the mines on the stay cord? I, I don't think you can convince me. I'd rather just go and fish get a bunch of money and food for tomorrow and then just go well yeah just go on the next good luck day i don't think floor pace is like really what i need to worry about too much i can't also the other thing that the save does have is uh yogi Bones then was redeemed. What do you have to do? Was it redeemed? Uh, it's still broke. I have to fix it somehow, and I don't know how I'm fixing it, so I'll just naturally play it. Oh. Fish or clay? Yeah, I'm not going to bother clay farming. I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, right, we can't geo stay one. Got a few guys. That's my last, uh... Do I bother doing parsnips is another real question. Probably, it's not that much. Oh, 
Hope you're happy. It's a bad luck day. I'm not really expecting to get a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'll bring the hoe with me just in case. Okay, quick seizure warning. I'm going to have to spam open like every bit of mail from year one. Actually, I don't know how much mail I'm going to get, but... Oh, okay. I skipped most of it. I guess that does mean that I skip out on a bunch of quests that you get year one. Oh, well. I'm new here in Scarard. We're not a cult. Crypto, thank you for the... Year one for 16 months. Year one perfection. Science has gone too far. No, we're in year two. If you couldn't tell that we're getting some things early. One year perfection. Science has I can't do either of those. Wait, what's it count on? Green. Yeah, I can make that work. I was gonna do that, but I didn't really know what I wanted to add on it. Also, mods could add that if they really want to. <laughs> Making the mods do work. Sag. Yeah, it, it's specifically single year for a reason, so it's not as commu er, confusing as, like, first year. It's specifically single year perfection. Gave us super mod powers. No, you only need that to change the title. I can change the title. I, I would have to make a command, though. I have no intention to ever play expanded currently oh the command was already made omega law There, that's in title. <laughs> Expanded command when. <laughs> Add it. Smile. I'm such a fisher. Holy moly. Yo, bro, do you see some of these catches? I should be fishing sideways, not down. I don't know why I chose to fish down. Most underappreciated crop in Stardew Valley? Probably melons, because everybody just says blueberries are better. They have Zanji fishing for me. Yo, I'm not that bad at fishing. I just don't get lucky. Copium. See, even though it was a bad luck day, if I was Zanji, I would have gotten four chests already. And they all would have had diamonds in them. That's the difference. Weed is super. Yeah, that too. Weed is. Weed is probably the most useful non like money making crop. Just due to its short grow time to be able to like uh, transfer deluxe speed grow. 
of course. I just click and I lose the perfect. Dreamer has ignored all mods announcements. Yeah, my chat is smaller than usual because of how I have because of how OBS is set up. So it's like if I don't see your message right away, I'm not seeing it. All right. Realistically, what I do need to get. So I I was watching a uh, virtual who's a track media streamer or whatever you've probably seen some of his uh highly edited videos or whatever and apparently he has like a he has two chats one that's completely unfiltered and then the other one is filtered for like all the non-spam i want to know how he does that because i want to like be able to read important messages sometimes but i don't know what they consider spam As much as I wanted the perfect catch, I don't think I can skip out on a chest that could potentially give me, like, a Neptune's Glaive or two coal. Yeah, the, the, the thing is about it is for Streamlabs, it would, like, stretch the entire, like, monitor length where in uh this it doesn't so it's like i can't have it actually a part of the obs if i want my chat to be bigger like i just made it bigger so i can actually read a little bit more but you know the only sucky part about fishing this first day is even if I get fishing level two for fiberglass, I'm not gonna be able to buy it. I forget, I think herrings are the most cost efficient to eat. I think herrings are the most cost efficient to eat. Uh, well, hard mid maxing would mean I have to actually think of how to mid max early game, and that's just not worth it because. <laughs> It's like I don't I don't need early game to be extremely been maxed. Like as long as I get to Ginger Island by like the end of spring, I'm fine. And I don't think I need a mid-max for that. I can kind of get just casually do that. Especially when I have access to the mines on day two. Like I can go to the mines prior to day five, right? I have really early access. I have access to the community center as well. Uh, I don't really need either of these. I should also eat the leek. Oh, is that what it's called? Oh, thank you. Big chat. I don't remember that. I still need to go talk to Shaplac. Yeah, I would, but I don't really need the community center opened right now anyways. Because I think I'm going to end up doing the the community center trick. Where I do two rooms in the community center and then pay for the rest. Because I think it is worth it to get the crystallarium.
Oh, I'm well aware that I'm not being, like, super efficient about this. It doesn't matter. I'm just doing what I think is, like, the the most I can do for, like, the least amount of effort. Like, if I was mid-maxing this, I would be clay farming right now. 100%, I would be clay farming. But I don't really want to do that. How do I plan on doing friendship? That is a good question, and I'm going to have to figure that out. so poor I just need an inventory room I didn't hit level 2 that which is nice you don't need that much yeah you only need like if I got the like least amount of possible I realistically only need like 14 mil 15 mil or whatever it's like obviously I'm gonna get a little bit more but Iron rod's good. Yeah, but then I don't get higher quality. And it's like the extra fishing level is nice at this point, but I don't really care. I keep going up too high. It's like at this point, I'm only going to get gold and iridium quality, so I feel like training rod is like wasting that. Okay, bigger question is, is do I want to buy coffee for the mines? I feel like i rather just have more salads. Because I'm not, I'm not really in that much of a rush. Because I kind of rather upgrade my pickaxe to copper before I get into the ice. I should probably go catch a bream. Ooh, I'll take 500 gold. Yeah, hey, let me walk up. Uh, we're kind of forced to do JoJo.
The reason I want to catch a bream is to give it to Kent. I probably should catch two because I'm going to need one for cooking later. I don't really want to stay out late. So let me get two breams here. And then I'm going to go buy salads. I'll go buy some salads and then I'll drop off my fish. And then I'll go fish at the lake because... I have the highest chance of getting chubs there, and I believe bullheads, which are the most, uh, which are the, ch chubs are very energy to cost efficient, while bullheads are very, uh, cost efficient. And really easy to catch. Oh, you are right. I can actually go pick up magnifying glass. Because it is year two. I don't know if I got that cutscene, though. I would have to check. I got some of the cutscenes. I don't think I got all of them. Doesn't it show up in my quest log? Uh, I don't know. Does it? I guess I'll stay up late later. I'd rather make early game a little bit more efficient, so. This. I'm gonna eat the small mouth because fuck the small mouth. It's not here. Uh. Ice cream. 100? Is that less? Yes, I think I'm just gonna buy salads here. Five salads. For tomorrow. Pretty crazy. Where is Kent right now? I think he's in his house. I can't give it to him today, unfortunately. I was hoping he would be at the pub. And smoking out back behind his house. Oh, then I'll just get him on the way. That's fine. Let me empty my inventory. Is a bream, correct? Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to complete as many of the quest board quests as I can do. Uh, because I mean, it's just free friendship points. I don't know that many people yet. I'm not really going to get that much fishing done up here, but and I'm not too worried about this being super efficient. Just has to be good enough. So there's only three fish I can get here, which is uh, bullhead, chub, and carp. Obviously, we don't want carp. We want chubs. Bullheads are very good money makers and very good XP farmers, though. So, A bullhead any day. Should be level three. I yeah, uh, I probably should get used to uh, talking to everybody when I pass them. But we'll see how long that takes me to get used to.
Technically, I won't be able to get the last cooking recipe until uh, the 28th. So, realistically, it's like I can't get the cutscene until near 3. That is a small limitation. And it does, yeah. I should also say, talking to the NPCs daily, like, I don't want to go out of my way to do that. Because, let me be clear, that is just really bad. If you are unaware, you gain 20 friendship points when you talk to an NPC. And you save two friendship points of decay. So it's like, in theory, you can say, oh, I saved 22 uh, friendship points uh, worth of, or er, worth of uh, friendship for this NPC for talking to them. To get to 10 hearts, you need 2,500. How many days in a row do you have to talk to get full relationship with them? Way too many. And again, it's just way too out of the way. If they're there, sure, but talking to every single NPC every single day just will not matter. Come on, give me one more ring, Pog. Oh, I probably should have expected to bounce off. We got fishing level three today. It's not bad. Not a terrible day. I got five salads. One, two, three. Uh, all right. Hopefully, we have good luck today. Am I do? Am I really doing more fishing? I feel like I'm doing more fishing. Mines anyway. I don't really want to waste that much. I'm gonna get really far down into the mines anyways. I'm not really about it. It's gonna rain tomorrow too. I can do catfishing. Clay farming for money. See, the issue with clay farming for money is I don't know where the clay spot is and I'll only be able to do it for so long. I could do it, I guess. Because I know where it is. I could do it at the start. I'm only, yeah. How do I wake up with full energy? If you uh, pass out or do anything, but you leveled up any skill overnight, you'll wake up with full energy no matter what. Uh, I should bring my pickaxe. I'll do clay farming, fine. The abandoned predictor, yeah. That's less fun. Unless if I'm doing like hardcore min max, I generally don't like using the predictor. It's just so much less fun. I generally only, in, even in mid-max, I generally only liked using the predictor for one, I thought it was fine for clay farming, and two, to reduce uh, resets. So when I say that, I mean like trees. Technically, I can go and figure out where all the, what all trees give me two acorns if I just keep resetting over and over and over again, which was really dumb. Or I could just use the predictor and do it first try. It's like, 
a less of it saves me time in that regards and it's not something like i need as a crutch i'm i was fine using the predictor but yeah like this is uh the main reason i didn't want to do clay farming because it's like if I don't find the clay spot fast, then it's kind of like... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Can I clay that spot? I can't. One, six. these birthdays yeah tomorrow's is kent's right i don't really know what i'm gifting him the early npcs are just gonna end up getting cocked clay i don't know if he likes clay Imagine he doesn't like clay very much. It's Three to the left, two up, correct, for the replacement? Give him a daffodil, fine. What's the replacement? Would it be this one? Or is it two or three? I'm just gonna try the replacement here, I guess. Hey, look at that. I'll take 130. I don't care enough. I'll be happy with 130. I could probably farm that a bit more, but I don't care enough. Again. Um, yeah, I'm just going to fish up north.
Yeah, I also don't really want to talk to NPCs right away because I rather have like a very confined amount of bullets and board quests I can specifically get. So it's like right now I can only get Kent, Marnie, Robin, Lewis, Willie, and it's going to be primarily the last person I met who has been Kent. So it's like I want to say 60% of the bulletin board quests, if they're like a request one from an NPC, it's going to be from Kent is because or er, for how it works. So it's like, if it's only from Kent, I can get them up to 10 hearts really quickly. And then I can focus on somebody else, especially before I start meeting people. And then it's just going to be like everybody because it eventually flattens out. If I can get level 5 fishing for tomorrow, I'll be happy. I don't mind if I do. Farther out. Thank you, uh, Chubb, for being annoying. Oh, I'm sorry, uh... Harp. Of course, you're basic. mouth with a chest. Why am I so bad? Geodes. These bubbles are really gonna mess up my inventory though is the issue. As soon as I get a quality, I'm, like, boned. I almost don't want quality. But then I'm, like, relying on these bubbles to last for a long time, because then I don't really want to fish far out. Like, I'm going to get quality here soon, I guarantee it. Two diodes. I feel like I should just eat all the base quality ones so quickly. totally happy game if you just keep giving me bullheads those the bullheads are the the money makers i almost don't want this to be quality can you just be a basic for now which is good what time does robin get home from working out It's like, if I get something really good from this, I want the chest. 7.30, ah. I guess I can start throwing stuff on the ground if I really wanted to.
Oh well. Let's just hope it doesn't go in. Make a little pile. These are really good bubbles, may I add. It kind of sucks that they're a little close, but it's like they have lasted very long. I have no complaints. I'm not in year one. By the way, it's single year perfection, not year one perfection. So I have gotten myself a custom file or I made a file. I used mods to, to give myself all the year one recipes. Changed it to the 28th and then slept the day to save it on spring first year two. So I have Kent. I can get all the cooking recipes of year two and I have all the cooking recipes of year one. So I am in year two right now. So yes, a single year perfection is possible. Year one perfection isn't by all the reasons that you've Oh, I thought I thought those amethysts dropped. As long as I don't have to reset the day, my loot pile here shouldn't matter too much. How is nothing falling into the water because of how items are thrown? I wouldn't be surprised if one of them goes right eventually, but... There's like a range that it can be thrown in. They're overrated, 100% overrated. She leaves Pierre's at 6, but she probably doesn't get to her house until like 7. That FAQ is for a different run. Bubbles are cracked. I walk over at like seven thirty. Also, for those who are concerned about items despawning, items, as long as you drop the item, items don't despawn unless if I exit to the main menu, which I don't plan on doing. 
So even if I slept 100 days, these items will still be here until I save and quit to the main menu. Uh, I can get one more fish. The next item I throw down might go in. That 7.30 is a little early. 7.40, what is it? At some point, I am going to need to transfer all these items back. Might do that in the morning of tomorrow and then get the fiberglass fishing rod. Cause I don't I think I'm fishing tomorrow over the mines. It's gonna be raining, I'd rather get catfish. Oh, so I really want fishing level, uh, I, I would really like fishing level five today so I can actually sell my fish to Willy tomorrow. So I can buy the salads tomorrow. But I think I missed too many perfects. weather. I already know it's raining tomorrow. Oh, they finally... They finally went away. I love that those last. They lasted, like, most of the day. See, okay, I need to fix this. Unless if I physically look over at my activity feed, I don't see who subs. So, Valisita, or Val, Valisita, thank you for the tier one for three months. Sorry, I missed that. I know that was eight minutes ago. And Lancelot, thank you for the tier one for eight. Because I don't hear it, and normally that's how I figure out if somebody subs. Because I don't always look at chat. Obviously. And it's like, I don't hear it. And I, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I don't see it. I 
I don't know why I don't see it. Or I don't hear it. Now I hear it. Is the Bonjouris too quiet for you guys? Because it's quiet for me when I hear it. Quietish? I can tell. A bit. I'll turn it up. Oh. That fine. That is that fine or is that too loud for you? Good. Okay. I'm just gonna leave that. I can hear it now. I just have to monitor it. The alerts sound metallic, do they? It sounds normal to me. Etta, Etika, thank you for the prime for two months. Sound fine here too. Oh, oh. That weird. Or maybe you're hearing it twice somehow. Were they fine before? And then they just start being metallic. Fix it after stream. And I probably should. And B, thank you for the prime for two months as well. Yeah, I don't know what I want to do here next. Oh man, I could have had a perfect guess. Have bone, have bone, have bone, have bone, have bone, have bone. Uh, alrighty. <sighs> Never lucky, by the way. How many hours do I have in Stardew? Question. Uh, 4,865, according to Steam. Ball luck doesn't affect the containments of a chest. It just affects how often chests appear. I just want to start bringing back items. Like, I want to start bringing back items, but at the same time, I don't. Because I really want level 5 fishing. I also don't want to pass out tonight. I'd rather not lose 2,700. Or, I'm sorry, 270 gold. I really want level 5. No, most of my CC hours are logged. 
I definitely have over 5,000 hours in the game from time that's not logged because I didn't have Steam open or whatever. I definitely have over 5,000 realistically because it also doesn't count any of the time that I spend planning off of Stardew Valley on like spreadsheets. So it's like, it, that's not like playtime, but still theorizing. I'm probably not getting level 5 here. Oh, I did get level 5. Perfect. Let's take items back. I've already made the executive decision to not, uh, to not go to the mines tomorrow, even if it's good luck, because I really want catfish money. My salads, it's past midnight, 1 a.m. Uh, I will sell the diamond and the emerald since I don't really need them. And I'd rather have the money straight up tomorrow and not have to go to Clint's. Uh, let me use the remaining time to try to get... your farm isn't a giant mess no because you can literally just skip so i didn't have to skip days for wednesdays it just changes the tv on command so i only slept like three days the main issue with my farm not being a giant mess is the fact that because i had to go to winter oh, i'm gonna pass out i'm dumb Ah, uh, i lost my money even though i didn't want to lose it uh what was it uh, I got distracted because I want too much wood. I basically have no weeds on my farm, so I'm just not going to get fiber. Oh, oh. Oh, well. But it's like, if you just change the dates to every Sunday of the year, like, you can just get the next recipe. You don't have to, like, get the Sunday recipe, skip it till the... S until the next Sunday. Get the next Sunday recipe. You can just keep changing the dates in, uh, in CJB Cheats. So I literally just had to sleep, like, three days. Three or four, because I specifically had to go out on certain days to get, uh, cutscenes. Uh, obviously going fishier here. And then money. Fuck. How hard is what I'm trying to do? I have no idea. I don't think it's gonna be actively like hard, hard, neutral. I could go, but I think I'd rather uh, do the fishing. Now, I guess I'm not resetting the day. Eh, I can do it in the morning here, though. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it in the morning. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a trip up and get the get the stuff before I exit the title on accident. Bring how? Eh, even if I get an artifact up here, the ones that you get up north really aren't that hard to get. 
There's only a few artifacts that I'm truly scared about. <laughs> this pile of fish. How many items are going to be left on the ground still? Uh, I really don't need the bait. I really don't need these seeds. There's so much shit on the ground. Honestly, I only left the copper and the, and the iron. That's not bad. Snake spines, though. People really just... I feel like people don't understand how you get snake spines. When you're looking for snake spines, they're really fucking easy. I don't even think, like, realistically, I don't even think I would need to cheese them. No, I, I, like, even without cheesing, I don't think they're that bad. Uh, also... I'm gonna have to do a bunch of fishing later. I'd rather have the money right now. I think I just sell all the fish today. Well, I guess I keep the chubs. The chubs are really energy efficient. We sell the rest. I guess we can keep the char charms too. Harps and chubs. I have sardines. I can leave the sardines later. Do I need anything else? I want the chest. Eh, I'll keep the flounder. Uh, should I keep the flounder? Flounder probably sells more than the anchovies. I half want to keep some of this stuff just for food later, but... I feel like I'm just gonna end up catching it later on and it's fine, but at the same time, I don't. So I probably should just... You know... Save the sardines. Chubs for food. I'm gonna need this later. Carp surprise. You know, just sell the rest. I think that's fine. Doesn't need a true. Don't care. A shad? No, it's it hasn't rained yet. Well, first rain day. We caught a second bream. I guess I'll be catching more today. much cheese uh as much as i really feel like it i'm trying not to reset that many days but if i have to reset a day i reset a day i don't care enough you know it's one of those things where it's like i'm fine resetting days i mainly just don't want to use the predictor Probably try to catch eels today as well at some point. Bigger question is, is do I want to buy trout soup? And the answer is probably yes, but by three. Uh I'll just do a hundred. It should be fine. Now 
I just haven't used the predictor, nor do I really plan on it. Did we ever decide if fishing here in town is better or Cinder Sap? I think Cinder Sap ended up being better because Shad or because Chubs. I don't think it makes a difference. Plus, if you have bubbles. If you're wondering why I'm not using a uh, trout soup, I'm going to use it for energy. These soup last a while. Am I going to submit my perfection run? Yes! <laughs> I should. I just had other things on my plate to deal with after that. I mean, the VODs are on Twitch. I didn't look or record any of it. That would be literally gigabytes of space. Brat, thank you for the tier one for two months. Also, Ambi, thank you for the uh, Prime for two months as well. I missed that even though it was 13 minutes ago because I still can't hear the Bon Joys because I made it go back. Oh, I'm going to miss this catfish because of that. And then I greeted for the chest. Gotta love it. Who gives no shits? Remember I've been max where we would reset if we didn't get like 20. Ah, <laughs> uh, good old fishing days. Man, I wish I would get this in mid max. I remember like. <laughs> Resetting constantly to get a bunch of catfish in a row. I want this chest. Yeah, I did bring the catfish or the chest down, but I really much rather not have to put the chest down and save it for the mines. Chest is more important. I probably won't need that stone, but I'll keep it anyways. When I'm getting backpack upgrade. Well, I probably sh should have gotten it yesterday, but uh, I actually don't want to get a perfect. I don't really care about getting perfects right now. I'd rather just have my inventory a little bit more clean and only get gold quality shads. I guess I can put down the chest if I really need to. Bro, I am like so done with this 
frog. Like, I, I think it's a frog. It's just like... It's like every other second, dude. The loudest thing. Again, I don't want to get a perfect on this. I'm gonna clutter inventory. Yeah, I should get this now. It's a hundred. Five HP off. No, it's not thundering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect gives more fishing experience by like 2.4, but I think my inventory being a little bit cleaner is much more worth it here. I'm not too concerned about fishing XP. I'm going to have to do a lot of fishing anyways. The hardest part? Probably friendships. And that might just be a me thing. Also, uh, somebody remember to to have me give a gift to Kent. <laughs> this is his birthday. Does he like gems? Can I just, like, give him a ruby? What What is his thoughts on rubies? I know I could just give him a daffodil, but I don't know if there's a daffodil in town real quick. How about that horseradish? Does he like horseradishes? Oh, is his birthday the fourth? Who's the third? I guess there's no spring third birthday. What is the third? Then who's the third? Is somebody has a birthday on a third? In one of the months. Is it jazz? No, jazz is uh it might be jazz. Uh talking to NPCs is just not worth it. If you talk to every single NPC for 125 days, they would get to 10 hearts that way. Talking to an NPC only gives them 20 uh or 20 points of friendships. You need 2500. Linus is winter third. That's what I'm thinking. Talking to every single NPC every single day will just take way too much time as well. And does like gems, so I can give him a ruby. If I don't find a really quick daffodil. I wonder where he is right now. What time does the houses close? It's like 6. I have to walk over at like 6 or whatever. Oh, yeah, it is tomorrow. <laughs> I'm still thinking it's today. Yeah, but I'll want... I probably want to go to the mines tomorrow. So it's like, I guess I have to get him in the morning. Maybe I just wait until 9 to go to the mines tomorrow and get the backpack upgrade too. Yeah, that sounds fine. Again, I really don't think I'm going to be that stressed this run for, like, 
mid-max things. I really don't. Like, I... <laughs> I think money is going to be the least of my issues. Realistically, I, it's only 14 mil. I kind of feel like I want to do starfruit jelly this run instead of uh, kegs. I think starfruit jelly would be lit. I'd have to set up a tree farm if I wanted to do kegs. I'd rather just spend a day farming, or I'm sorry, spend like three days. One farming wood, one farming... uh. One farming coal and one farming stone. And then have enough jars for the entire run. Coal though. I can literally get like 300 coal in a day. I could scam Pierre. I think that's less fun, but I could if needed. Also, you can't do it with jelly, though, so. I feel that. Yeah, I'm thinking jars would just be better and easier. How much money? Uh, it's like a hundred and something thousand. Six year two. Jars year two are kind of stupid expensive too if you don't manually farm for the resources. Oh, see, this is why I didn't want to catch a iridium quality shad. But I'm also gonna eventually get a bream here. on the chest i also bounced too high up i needed the tap to stop it but i tap i like held the click so i kept going up because i was dumb yeah that was just me being dumb and messing around little sad. We had a really good start with catfish and then it kind of just stopped. Man, getting a perfect chest right there would have been so cool. Too bad it was a shad. Uh, I was honestly tempted to delete it, but I still have stone in my inventory. This doesn't matter. Oh no, they, I think they stopped spawning at midnight. I remember correctly. Now, 
Uh, no, I did not. Yeah, after midnight. I don't put a chest down. Eh, but then I have to move it later, and it's annoying. I shouldn't have brought it in the first place. I'm not gonna get that many different kinds of fish at this point anyways. Now, I basically used CJB. I slept, or I changed the day to till Sunday, got the recipe on the TV, uh, changed it to the next Sunday. Uh, got it on the TV. You don't actually have to sleep to get the next recipe. So I basically, in total, I slept like three days. So the farm is not overly grown. The only issue with the farm is the fact that there's basically no fiber since it all disappeared because of winter. That is the only issue with the farm. So I'm going to be really lacking on scarecrows early on. Is the, is the issue. Those are crows for me. Theoretically, you could blade, but I don't really want to. Because it doesn't always give you the one that you're missing. Or ones that you're missing. So it's like, if I miss a week, or if I miss a few too many weeks, I'm screwed. So, yeah. So, theoretically, you could just start this in year two with no uh, modifications to, like, anything and just finish it. But I I don't know. I, I feel like the recipes isn't the challenge. Or the idea behind the challenge, so it's kind of just like, eh. Whatever. Fiber for mine. Yeah, I'll be able to find fiber. I'm not too concerned about actually finding the fiber. Honestly, I can't be too mad about uh, 11 catfish. Random seed. Yeah, I have no idea what the seed is. I have no intentions of using the predictor this run. That said, we did have like 12 hour long bubbles on day two. At the mountains. It was really funny. Got me level five. Fishing. Not needed. Yeah, it's not needed. I think it's like less fun for a run like this. Queen, thank you for the tier one for five months. till midnight and then we'll go actually i don't i don't want to go to midnight i want to make sure that i buy uh salads beforehand probably leave at like 11. what about eels Ooh, i could pick up eels on my way down I could also just get eels in fall. I have to fish on a rainy day in fall anyways. I can just get eels in fall. Well, technically I uh, technically you could argue that this is a speedrun because I'm doing it in the 
least amount of in-game days. But that's just because I physically have to wait until the 28th of winter to get uh, the final cooking recipe. But it's like, I wouldn't count this as a speedrun at all. Doing things in the least amount of in-game days generally requires doing very specific seeds because, like, uh, if you, if you want to know, a lot of people think that the earliest day that you can, uh, complete the community center is sometime in fall, right? Uh, the real answer is, is if you use the specific seed, you can complete the community center on spring, or sorry, summer second year one. But you have to use a very specific seed that most people don't know. So it's like, yeah, and it's already solved and it's not that entertaining. It was, oh, I, Blade's done it and it was only entertaining because he was doing it on 1.4 where he had to get a red cabbage seed from Skull Caverns, which is like a one in 526 chance. So you had to like <laughs> force that on a specific day. That's what made it funny, but I don't know. It's like the in theory is cool, but once it's done, it's like, do I really care to do it? Not really. Yeah. Uh, would this technically run be RNG to the quest board? Yes, I could just this this C could just be invalid. I have no idea. I didn't check. I might get screwed on quest board RNG from uh, key and the actual special orders. I I would have no idea. I'm gonna assume not. As long as I am actually diligent and doing them, uh, it should be fine. But, yeah, I could get screwed. Never know. Uh, just based off of traveling cart. Uh, for the year, uh, for the community center, you need to get, like, specifically, like, 14 items from the traveling cart. And then you need to get a fairy on summer first to grow all the crops instantly. And then you also need to get a red cabbage seed from Skull Caverns. It's actually not as complicated as you may think it is. Because you can get a lot of items very quickly. To, to put it in perspective, you don't even need to get the truffle or the rabbit's foot from the traveling cart in that run. You can easily make enough money to get the truffle and the rabbit's foot from uh, their regular means from the barns in spring year one. That's really easy to do. I remember back on 1.4, in 1.4 mid-max, where the goal was to make the most amount of money possible in spring, I think the record's like 9.5 million in hand. You can easily make enough money to be able to get everything you need in spring. Yes, you heard me. 9.5 million in spring year one. Fiona, thank you for the tier one for 35 months, by the way. Yeah, speedrun's uh the wrong term. Uh we how we Well, I, I'm picky about it because I actually do speedruns. I understand is 10 mil not possible? 10 mil's theoretically possible. It was just really hard with the current strats that we had at the time. Keep in mind in 1.4 clay farming wasn't a thing yet. So we would end up fishing early game. Now our early game is so much more optimized that we would probably be able to do it really easily. Ninety-one. Uh, all chat or all mid-max runs are seated. I I don't think we ever really did unseated mid-max runs for the most part. Uh, yeah. Anyways, what was I ranting about? Uh, I was ranting about uh challenge or challenge runs versus speed runs. So uh, I'm picky about it because I actually do speed runs and I like it to be dis differentiated i understand why people like would call it a speed run because it's like least amount of in-game days you're sp you're speed running the game you know uh but essentially how i classify it is a speed run is based off of real life time a challenge run is based off of in-game time for the most part like there are some challenge runs that also have a timer on it but it's like if it's an in-game day run it's a challenge run your the goal is to challenge yourself to do it in a specific amount of days you can also argue like a speed run is a challenge run because it's like oh you got to do this in a specific amount of time 
It, it, it's nitty gritty. It really doesn't matter. I'm being, I, I'm just being annoying saying it's like, oh, it's not actually, it's not technically a speed run. Also, this is what happens when you guys get me to play casual. I sit in a menu, paused, and just start talking. It, it, it's a Stardew curse. Everybody does this. I, I literally make fun of people who do this, but I do it myself. It, it's... It's fantastic. I love Stardew. I, I love Stardew. Actually. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to leak this because Blade is here. We have a Duke Crew chat for those who don't know what the Duke Crew server is. Uh, uh, Blade posted a new video about uh, everything you need to know about Skull Caverns. And I said, if you let me nerd. Yeah, if you let me nerd for a moment, I corrected him that saying infested floors can't uh, show up on floors one through four uh, either because he didn't actually have that in the video. And then he responds with actually like in quotes this is what he said actually you you are right like this guy actually just <laughs> and then under it they uh who did this brandigan put l nerd <laughs> in other uh, react messages it's like bruh we're children out here honestly Straight up children. Speaking of which, uh, selling out for Blade because I can. Uh, he posted a new video. If you want to know the intricacies of Skull Caverns, go watch that. It's actually very... Uh, it, everything's correct, but the, the fact that infested floors cannot show up on floor layouts 1 through 4. <laughs> Everything else was right there of course he has a link why wouldn't he have a link to it bless it probably took him 30 seconds to google so it's a beggar yeah it doesn't tell you how to be better it tells you information about it and how uh it works Uh, all right, so I'm probably just going to eat the trout soup and go chop down trees on my farm is what I'm thinking and then just use the space for salads. Do I want to buy coffee? But this is like, I don't have the inventory room, which is the issue, but I'm thinking, do I want to buy coffee? I'm sorry. I have my hands in front of my mouth and it's probably not coming through my mic very well. Um, do I want to buy coffee? I have the money. It wouldn't last all day. Yeah, I would buy salads first, obviously. I need the food for the mines. Do I want coffee? people with rubies it's not worth it i rather keep the rubies for later you want coffee well i like coffee in game if you're saying uh i guess that's what you're saying i'm not like a caffeine person like i don't have any like energy drinks i don't drink coffee in the morning i mean it probably explains why i yawn so much but it's like, I don't, I don't do any of that, which is like, I don't know why. I feel like I should with the amount that I yawn. No, I don't think I've yawned that much this stream. I say that as I'm thinking about mining. So when are you going mining? So you said, you asked that earlier. The reason I didn't go mining is because I had a bad luck day into a bad luck day into a raining neutral. So I didn't really want to go mining. Like a bat into a skull into a neutral, which was on a rain day. And I already had level 5 fishing, and I wanted 14 catfish. So I'm like, eh, I don't really care. Ideally, I go mining tomorrow. But, I mean, as long as it's... It's like, I, I'm even tempted to go on a bat tomorrow, even if I get it. Who wanted the bream? Willy did. Willy wants the bream. 
collect it tomorrow when gifting. Uh, I'm not gifting rubies. I honestly rather just delete the regular geodes. It's 150 gold. I don't really care. Honestly, what I realistically should do is just delete the two iridium. The two iridium is essentially worth uh, 200 gold to me. And it's not useful right now. If I need a room for coffee. I would eat the trout soup, delete the iridium, and get coffee and salads. I, I could technically drop the iridium instead of deleting it, but I think deleting it is funnier. You want the fish? I'm not eating the bream. I need it for cooking and for gifting. Yeah, I can just drop it on the ground. It doesn't make a difference. Don't get coffee. I feel like I want coffee, though. Juggle it at home. <laughs> uh, you know what? Just for you, Blade, I will juggle it at home. So, Geo's to Clint. It's uh, midnight, my guy. The best advice, uh, watch the TV every day. It helps you learn how to play. And don't really worry about comparing yourself to other people playing the game. Just play at your own pace. Make sure to get back in the saloon. Ooh, might not be able to do that. Uh, to eat this. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, how much coffee do I realistically want? I can buy 1,500. Honestly, 1,500, 1,500 is probably fine. So, five, and I'm gonna buy the rest of salads. And five, it's not bad. What am I juggling for this? This is how you juggle. <laughs> Losing no in-game time for this, by the way, since there's no acceleration in this game. see any daffodils. I do need to bring one to Kent tomorrow. Uh, what am I selling? Probably just sell everything that's kind of, like, useless to me. I want to keep that. Uh, sh can't cook any of the shads. I'm just gonna sell these. I'm gonna use these for food, or extra food. Uh, I don't really want to sell anything else. I think that's it. I do have daffodils. Oh, the catfish. Dad. Yeah, I don't need it. That. Our bring back up. So stupid yet smart. Yeah, juggling is pretty funny. Oh, I was also going to sell this. Yeah, let's go get some more wood. probably think about uh making a tree farm because i'm gonna need a lot of wood later on probably should be replanting the trees then
think I am gonna agree with Cord or whatever I said earlier. I do think we're gonna end up not doing, uh, did you see my juggling clip? No. What jewels do you forge with your weapons? I end up just doing rubies. Uh, what is it? Uh... I, I'm just gonna end up doing preserve jars. I'm not gonna bother with kegs. They're just too much of a hassle in year two because wood prices, uh, copper, iron, uh, and whatnot. I'd rather just do uh, jars. They're not that much worse than kegs with star fruit, and uh, they're faster at processing. And it will take me like three days to farm for all the resources. It's it's fine. <laughs> This with me. I'll just keep that on me for tomorrow. Should be good. Very nice. Uh, for the cause. Gonna pass out, Pog. Actual gamer. Level six. Nice. How many did I get? Ooh, only six k. Five thousand two hundred fifty. That's not terrible. I'll take that. I'll take that. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom super quick, and then we'll check the daily luck. How much longer in real time will we expect this to take than the speedrun? Uh, funny enough, it's probably gonna take about... Uh, I said 10 to 20 hours earlier, but I regret that. It's probably gonna take about 20 to 30, probably closer to 30. Really depends on how many days I reset. Cause it's what? A full year? If you didn't if you played the entire day without pausing and sleeping every day of the year, it's what like <sighs> See I I have to Google this every time. cycle a full year with no pausing and sleeping every single day to the very maximum is 26 hours and eight minutes not including pause times so it's realistically at, at minimum it'll be like 26 hours realistically it's probably going to be 30 maybe 30 maybe like 32 hours so like 10 more hours
Parity slide out of frame. Into frame. Fuck. Be a little careful. Now I have like a light like right there. Let's see if streamer tells me to fuck off again. Nah, it's less funny because I read chat first. You have to be quiet about it. Alright, how do I want to play this deck? Well, I want to give Willie the Bream. I want to give Kent a Daffodil. I should probably wait until 8 to get the uh, community center cutscene. I, I got them in your one. Backpack, yeah. I want to get backpack. A nod. Or non. Nah. <laughs> I don't like the age. Nah. Thank you for the prime for 18 months. Really appreciate it. Uh, oh. Daily luck check? I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. At least it's not bad luck. It's fine. It It's not bad luck. Yeah, Kent birthday, Willie gift. Uh. Mini center. What else do I need? Not really anything. See, I will say. The issue with going on the 4th is I can't get the club on 24. Oh wait, no, never mind. I can't get the club. It's here too. I have no idea what the chests or the crates are. Fuck. The crates. No. I can't get the gear. I can't get the club on 24. I want my club. Play hands. Oh, uh, I'll go turn at this to get the extra 250, I guess. Uh, I have a till 8. Oh, extra 500 B. Uh, let's go see if I can find, like, a higher quality daffodil. Or something. I have time. Oh, the misery. Did I, wait, did I tell chat that that's, like, the thing that I've been saying so often now? Did I mention that? Because I feel like you guys are saying that, or is it just become, like, meme status in general? Because I've been saying that so much in, like, regular, regular speech. Oh, the misery. Did I do Remix Mines? Uh, I don't remember if I selected Remix Mines or not. Yeah, but the song is, like, old now. We'll need to catch another frame. Oh, he's two hearts. Nice. Watch this be a higher quality. Dad. Uh, I feel like it would probably be better for me to walk 
and get the community center cutscene, but at the same time... Uh, I should be walking to Pierre's. I don't know why I'm staying out in front of Clint's. I'm, I'm so used to staying in front of Clint's. No, I'm going, I'm going to Pierre's, not Clint's. Don't give him coffee. This. Pack. All right, now here's the hard choice. I do in fact want to get farming level two before the 13th the question is i guess i don't have to buy that many potatoes how much xp is it i believe it's 380. right 380. Where is the calculator? 380 minus 8 times 15 divided by 14. So I would only need like 20 potatoes. Get a few extra. A few extra. 25. That was fine. I guess I could just buy them all now. Realistically, so I don't have to worry about getting the recipe thing later. Crows. I'll have a scarecrow. It should be fine. Uh. So what? One bean starter should be fine. Uh, I'll have parsnips, so I'm not worried about parsnips. I'm not worried about food. Cauliflower. How many cauliflowers do I need? I guess I get more seeds, so it's not too big of an issue. I don't think cauliflower is used for cooking. I'll need two tulips, one for crafting later. Uh, I guess I should probably... Kale's not used for cooking, right? Oh no, kale is used in two things. I need three kale. I need three kale. How many extra potatoes do I need? I need a few potatoes, not too many. I'll have extras. Put on potatoes. Uh get multiple green beans. I'll get the rice later. Uh, rhubarb we'll get later. Garlic. How much garlic do I need? 3, 12, 13. 13 garlic. I don't think we need an extra cauliflower, right? Oh, no, we do. That should be a... Uh, I have the parsnips down already. One more garlic for shipping. I accounted for that now. 10 for garlic of oil, and then 2 for cooking, and then 1 for shipping, so 13, should be 13, not 14, the other one from the island, but that's lame, you should trash that one, <laughs> fine. Wait, did I not buy jazz? No. Uh, I need three. I bought the jazz. I 
How is it? Oh, I guess the blue jazz isn't used in the thing. Yeah, whatever. All right, we're gonna have a little bit of late start, but it's fine. I'm not gonna plant these today. I'm not too concerned about it. I can get them down tomorrow. God, I'm not too concerned about getting a bunch of floors today. It's like... Yeah, it's nice and all, but I I don't think I'm going to be too rushed on things. Again, as long as I have access to Ginger Island before the end of spring, I'm golden. All right. Any mods? No, it's based off your screen resolution. There's probably a mod that lets you to uncap it, but I'm not going to bother. Oh uh, yeah, Kekai's birthday gift. Got that in the morning. Oh man, it's actually I'm already cheated. I'm cheating. I have iron in you. Oh, I guess it is year two. Oh, I'm not cheating actually. Omega lol. How early do you think I'm gonna get the ancient seed? I should not be pausing. What did you make? Okay. Imagine getting the ancient seed early. I feel like I should be killing enemies, but at the same time, I feel like I should just be progressing floors. A furnace recipe? Yeah, I got furnace recipe. Yeah, we're in year two right now. It feels really weird to have like coffee right now. Join us. Ooh, early dwarf scroll. That was nice. Join us. Thrive. There might be a freebie on it. Actually, that was in the middle, so there is a freebie on the floor. Remix mines, interesting. I guess that's not too surprising. I will take a magnet ring any day of the week. I was hoping for a club, but honestly, second best is easily magnet ring. Wow, there's two boss enemies on this floor. What are the odds? I will take a second magnet ring. That is just quality of life. A third boss enemy. Okay, can you give me a weapon this time? 11 damage. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. Runs blessed. Average, by the way. Average luck here on uh, twitch.tv slash Lehabu. Honestly, just average. Well, I know what would be absolutely even funnier is if I get an Ancient Seed on the next uh, bug kill. Damn. That would have been really funny. I could start smelting stuff. I have no idea. Well, uh, that's just, uh, I mean, to be expected, it is a neutral day. I was getting pretty lucky. Kill insane. Why well, kind of probably shouldn't have bought the coffee. Like it's nice and all, but realistically, not gonna get as much use as it should. The mines here. I guess. Any ancient seats? We at seven PM. Floor 18, that's pretty fucking bad. Alright, we did start late, but I don't think it was that late. I guess it's to be expected on a neutral, though. Of 
attack there. I'm so used to having to like sidestep back a little bit to be able to uh, pick up stuff, but it's like when you have double magnet ring, you actually don't need to. get the club spot if it was year one. But, uh, it's not year one. I got a sword. Huzzah. Ah, uh, we should be able to get 30. Which isn't, like, abysmal. I don't know why I checked to see if that if there was a freebie on this floor by breaking that rock when floor five literally can't be a freebie. four emeralds this run already. Two from fishing, uh, two from mining. Five actually, depending on how the dark floors treat me. Probably should get the magnet ring, or I'm sorry, the glow ring, but it's fine. I'm not that blind. Honestly, more of a skill issue if you can't see. Bit of a skill issue. Right. Uh, that works. We take those. Big toast, thank you for the prime for two months. Ignoring chat. Okay. The thing about it is. It's broken, so I actually have to manually play it.
Oh, it's 300 jolt gold. I'm concerned. Uh, I mean, we're just going mining at this point. I just need copper and iron. Good luck. This is bad. If you have to get a single good luck die. Probably want to be a little organized this run. I'm probably not gonna have like everything on Ginger Island for once. Oh wait, I just realized this is why we were having different music. I'm like, how did it get off of our playlist? That should fix it. I was like, what was that song? I mean, I bought these seeds, but realistically, I can just grow them on Ginger Island or the greenhouse. So it's like, I'm probably just going to grow the potatoes. Right now, just so I can get the farming XP I need. Salads for food. Alright, well, back to the mines after I check the mail. Back to the mines. Dare crow. Uh, I didn't have the fiber. Realistically, I will just bring home the fiber today, and at worst, I have one tree gone. Or, I'm sorry, one potato gone. Well, technically, at worst, four can disappear, but the odds of having more than one are so astronomically low that I don't care. Also, I have, like, seven extra potatoes. Uh, more than what I need, so... Not very concerned. It is a bad luck day, but I do want to get the 40. So let's just hope that monsters carry, I guess. Or I can just get lucky forehead. Really just that easy. Bad luck, mad luck. All I hear is skill issue. Can't find ladders on a bad luck day. Want time to break this entire floor because I'm not gonna find a ladder. I trash talked it. Wow, 
I got wood from that. Great. That's so worth my time and energy trying to swing at it. Uh, I probably upgrade my pickaxe. Probably should upgrade it before the 13th. I just want to get the iron and the copper now. I the iron now. I probably will have to do a little bit of clay farming, or we could fish. Get our fishing levels up higher. Evelyn, thank you for the tier one. Really appreciate it. Big toast. I probably missed it, but also thank you for the two months. Of Prime. Again, I don't have my... The sounds for my notifications are off for whatever reason, and I don't know why the audio is wrong, and I don't really care to tech stream fix it right now, since I tried for a little bit and just couldn't fix it. I'll figure it out off stream. But yeah, I'm just missing. Soups. When I look over, I generally find them, but... Hey, take me a little bit because I don't read chat that often. Let's be real. I generally end up just playing and talking to myself and occasionally looking at chat whenever I feel like I need help. Kind of just chilling right now uh our goal is to get a bunch of iron and copper because i need resources for sprinklers i guess i i'm looking at this of too much of a like casual perspective or a, a speed run or a speed run perspective i should be looking at this slightly more mid max I probably should be going to floor 80 right now. And then we void spirit farm. Because I don't really need to wait for monster musk. I think waiting for monster musk is somewhat of a grief. I should be looking at this from a more of a mid-max point of view. If that's the case... I am gonna go upgrade my pickaxe. Uh, let me bring this home. I'm gonna go upgrade my pickaxe. And then we can go fishing. Let's just get our fishing. That's going to be our money that I'm just going to scale into later, and I'm just not going to worry about clay farming.
Eh, uh, let's do that. I think that's I think that's a good idea. Except the Gunther. Yeah, I don't have anything important other than the dwarf scroll up there. I'll deal with it later. Actually, I should be rushing Skull Caverns because that's where I'm just going to make a lot of money. I have extra days to work with it. I do realistically want the copper pickaxe though, so. This is fine. I also need to upgrade my axe soon. So once that copper pick is done, I'm probably gonna put it in my axe because I need to start getting hardwood ASAP. Really get that because it literally just gave me my pickaxe. Can't even buy it from you. Even if I wanted. Because realistically, what do strawberries matter? Like, I need to get strawberries, don't get me wrong. I, I have. I have to go to the festival, no matter what. Have to go to the festival. But realistically, like, does it matter? I should watch this one. Does it matter? Because am I really going to be making money off of strawberries? No. No, I'm not. I'm going to be making money off of starfruit. And Skull Cavern runs. So I should be getting set up to do Skull Cavern runs right now. And how do I do that? I farm Void Spirits. I don't have to be super aggressive. I can take two days to do it instead of like the one that we normally do. Or one to two that we normally do it. And I can take three or two to three. That's like the one thing that I can do. By Void Spirits. Uh, you get actually uh, a lot of money for doing it. While at the same time, uh, combat XP. And Egg, thank you for the five gifted. The main issue I'm going to run into is coal prices. Because I should be able to sustain myself on iron. I won't be able to sustain myself on coal. So I'm probably going to have to farm for extra uh, coal. To get everything. But that should be fine. Those bubbles are bait. They're not going to last 12 hours like the last one. And walking over there is just not worth it. Because even... I can't reach it from here. I have to walk to the other side. Pray for early monster boss. I mean, if I actually am a little picky about uh, dust sprites that I go out to kill, it's not too bad. I get, like, usual, the good luck day. I should be able to get to floor 115 in, like, the next few days after the pickaxe is done upgrading. Like, once the, the pickaxe is done on the 7th, if it's a good luck day on the 7th and 8th, I should be on 115 by the 
by the end of the 8th. And then I can, uh... Dust Sprite farm the 9th and probably partially the, uh, 10th. And then start Void Spirit farming the, like, 11th, 12th, and, uh, whatever I can on the 13th. And then we should be good to go. I get, like, 250 coal from the Dust Sprites. Uh... I'll get, like, 250 coal from the Dust Sprites. That should be plenty for the first Skull Cavern day. Be plenty. And then once I'm in Skull Caverns, I'm kind of just fine. I can coast. Man, I was gonna do this all wrong. Thankfully, I kind of realized it. It's like, I should be more focused on, like, the mid-max route. I, I'm doing basically the slow version of, like, the old mid-max route, where I'm like, I'm going to take a few extra days to do it, but it shouldn't be that much worse. Main thing I am, I do need though, is, uh, I do need to find a second bundle to complete. I think we normally do construction in mid-max. By mid-maxing, because it's essentially required early game in some regards. If I don't want to have to get, if I want to get, if I want to have less lo odds of getting screwed by RNG later, it's kind of necessary. Because the sooner I'm in, uh, the sooner I'm on Ginger Island, the sooner I can get quests from, uh, Mr. Key, which is important. I bury the last one. I believe it was Alex. Wow, well, that was a rude bullhead. Perfect. I concerned about uh, bulletin board. I think the special orders board. I don't have to. Con I don't have to worry about because I get it at the start. So I get it all. Uh, what sixteen weeks? As long as I don't skip any, I'm fine. Because again, it's year two, so I have it right at the start. I'm more worried about getting Skull Cavern Invasion. Because I technically don't need uh, Danger in the Deep. I only need Skull Cavern Invasion. But Danger in the Deep is super nice to get.
Even when he cut. Yeah, but Wand of Sparking isn't like mid-maxing stuff. I do think I'm probably gonna call it quits because my mom did come down and said food's ready and uh, my wrist is actually starting to hurt for whatever reason. I guess I've been playing too much Terraria. So I probably should take a break. Party 530 anyways. Any part of the run friendship mainly is what I'm worried about and early game. Early game's always stressful because you want a good uh, foundation. And then friendship, I mean. Do I really have to explain anything about friendship? I'm really slow at friendships. I hate most of the NPCs in this game or just don't care about them. And uh, I don't really do any, I, I'm generally, I generally ignore them in half the runs I do. So it's kind of like, eh. Yeah. Harp surprise. I probably should sell the chubs because I can just buy salads, but it's like I'm running low on salads, so I can just use these at this point. Just sell the crest. I have all that. I feel like a casual selling stuff this early. 14 mil? No. If I was doing Truman Max, I can make about 10 million in the first uh in spring, but I'm not. So there's no point. I've, with, with mid max, I've made literally, what, 63 million in the first year. Granted, it is year two, so prices are a lot higher, so it's going to have to be di different. But I'm literally trying to make a six of that. Or a little more than a six, more like a fifth. It's not going to be that bad. Skull Caverns, baby. Skull Caverns is fucking OP. Uh, what else do I want? Ah, movie there. Eh. May it might be worth it. I might end up getting it later down the line. It is half a million. And it's kind of free and it doesn't waste too much time, I don't think. So it's kind of just like, eh, why not? But I think, I think I'll be fine on friendship. I could be wrong. Somebody apparently has routed this already. Uh, but I find it more fun to do it my way. So it's like, I could just go like, oh, I can just follow the route step for step and figure out what to do. But I, again, I think that's just less fun. I'd rather figure it out. And if I fail, I redo it. So what? I'm used to redoing things. Uh, I have watering can. I'm going to probably end up fishing. Am I fishing tomorrow? I'm probably fishing tomorrow. I'm either fishing or chopping down wood. I might want to get wood. I want the trees to start regrowing. What's the weather? Is it raining? It's not. Yeah, we're we're doing Jojo Mart. We're kind of forced to do Jojo Mart, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, because it's just not you, realistically without it being seated, you can't complete the community center until fall, and at that point, you just don't have enough time to do Ginger Island shenanigans in like a month and a half. You you just don't is the uh, issue with it. So, uh, I'd rather get to Ginger Island in spring than fall. Farming level one. Uh, not great money. I didn't fish for that long though. Okay, 
check a few things. It is raining tomorrow, which kind of sucks because I want to go to the mines. And of course, we get a best luck day when I don't have my pickaxe. Thank you, game. Being fantastic. All right. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna piece here. I wanted to get food and a bit, and my wrist is starting to uh, feel bad. Am I gonna use predictors? No, I just don't want to. Uh, I got a three hour stream in. It's not that short. I did start late, so it's kind of like to be expected. Um, that's my fault. Tomorrow I should be starting at my usual time though. Best Teemo skin, uh, Badger. Hey, Lee Chat is streaming. Lee Chat was doing Genoma Kart speedruns, right? Bus game. Oh, wait, she's ending. Oh, good thing I checked. Uh, join her and raid 20 something loser as well. Yeah, probably. Doing Wheel of Spear on Marriage Edition. Oh, is she just marrying random? Oh, that's funny. That. When am I going to play main game? Hey, if I get the mini game quest later down the line, you know what I'm doing. So I will play it. I will play it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I will play main game. Just, uh, just gotta let me get to Ginger Island first. All right, I'm gonna piece. Uh, I need food, as I said. I do appreciate the support. I know I started late. That's uh, kind of my own fault, but uh, I had things to do. Uh, that said, I will be back tomorrow at my usual time, 12 central. We'll be continuing this challenge. This is basically what I'm gonna do until the completion. Uh, as you can see, I'm saying, oh, I gotta do mid-max strategies, but I'm doing it really casually. This is kind of like somewhat of an excuse to play casually, I guess, but my definition of casually. Uh, obviously, it's gonna differ. Uh, but yeah, I do appreciate you guys watching. I will be back tomorrow, uh, 12 central, hopefully. Ideally, I should be. I, I would be surprised if I'm not. Uh, so yeah, appreciate the support. Uh, I do hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I hope you stay safe out there and just take care. Peace.